first Thirsty Thursday of the new year. And of course, uh, we're going to go dry January okay. style, okay? Right. Um, and it's worth your while to go alcohol free at Daisy's. It's a bakery and cafe by day, a full restaurant at night. And with awards like a green Michelin star and write ups in national press, it's like no surprise the beverage program is outstanding, including their NA drinks. For this week's Thirsty Thursday, we're trying out N.A. cocktails at a restaurant called Daisy's that made New York Times list of 50 restaurants they're most excited about. Daisy's is a Midwestern Italian restaurant. So what does that mean? Um, we cook as if we were in a region of Italy. You know, you go to Italy and you think like, why is this so good? And it's like, well, they get their dairy from, you know, five miles away and they get their pasta milled up the street. So we try to, we try to encapsulate that into everything that we do. So we use local seasonal ingredients. We preserve a lot of things to, you know, we have relationships with our farmers and our purveyors and we just try to use what's in season. We try to use what's good and we try to respect it along the way. Froman Farms is uh, right outside of St. Joseph, Michigan, um, and it's kind of like the heartbeat behind what Daisy's is. It's what drives us, it's what drives our ingredients. We get probably 80% of our produce from there. We also use so many other local purveyors, but really that's the farm where, you know, we get so many things. Like in the summer when we have the overpriced tomato on the menu, he just brings in hundreds and hundreds of pounds of tomatoes just twice a week. Chef Joe Froben and I oversee the restaurant and uh, the restaurant operations, both culinary and some in front of the house as well. Uh, Thomas Leonard is our culinary director and he does so much. I oversee the morning section, which is the bakery and the cafe, um, and all things pastry at night as well. I joke around that um, pastry and beverage are very similar um, because, you know, we're meticulous. We use scraps of things. We have to get crafty. We're also the thing, the first part of your meal and the end of your meal. So we are the, we are the bookend, and there's a lot of overlap that goes there. So we use sweet ingredients. We use sugar. We use water. We use fruits, all of those, all of those things. I'm here with Nicole, the beverage director of Daisy's. And if you've eaten at Daisy's, you know about the mushroom margarita. Uh, it's famous here, but you have an NA version. Tell me what goes into it. Yes, yeah, so for the traditional mushroom margarita that we have on the menu, we uh, utilize dehydrated fermented mushrooms. Uh, during the lactic fermentation, uh, there is also a brine that forms that is left over when we strain those mushrooms out, but it's still delicious and rich. Uh, so we uh, uh, steep that with a mixture of uh, spices and herbs and make that into a syrup, then uh, let that be the highlight of that beverage. Of Simple it's Daisy. Stunning! It's so earthy. It's fabulous. It tastes like mushrooms. Yeah. It has the spirit of the mushroom in it. <laughs> and I don't miss the alcohol. No. no. It's, Cheers, excellent yeah, work. Thank you. Thank and you. then what's up next? Uh, next we have the Old Orchard. Uh, it is uh, one of the most recent additions to our seasonal program. Uh, it is a pear, dill, and tarragon tea. We primarily utilize the stems uh, left over from the garnishing of our dishes. And uh, we steep that with uh, a non-alcoholic aquavit that we make in-house, uh, but you can also substitute it with something that is pretty and bitter like matcha. Mm. And uh, yeah, how's my tarragon syrup? It's so incredible. It's like refreshing, but it's earthy, it's rich. It's also got a little bit of tartness to it. Yeah. It's fabulous. Yeah, it's a fun one. It's a fun Great, one. and then what are we ending with? So we wanted to mimic that uh, very pretty trend of orange, like skin contact wines. Beautiful. Um, so we steeped uh, verjou, which is acidified grape juice. Uh, with a mixture of herbs and barks and spices and toasted yeast and uh, a cacophony of other flavors that uh, just end up in a very pretty beverage that uh, stands, stands up to the same properties. Salud! Salud. Wow, okay. I am not missing the booze in any of this. It is so unique. I have never had any cocktails that are so complex and interesting and flavorful as yours. Thank you so much, yeah, Nicole. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Cheers, my dears. Yeah. Cheers. Is that your new tagline? I, I think it, it is. Cheers, my dears. <laughs> yes. I mean, but what I said is yeah. I stand by it. And you know me, I like my booze. Sure, yeah. But I didn't miss it. It looks delicious. And yeah. you know how normally I show you bottles of what goes into uh -huh. the cocktails? 
Well, there are no bottles to show because they make everything in house and they use their, that's why they have the green Michelin because it means they're sustainable. Oh. So all the scraps from the kitchen that aren't being used for dinner or for the cafe, that's what they're using to ferment and make. I mean, that was homemade wine. Incredible. So good. Yeah. yeah. That's so impressive. Yes, I got to take you there. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know. It, Date, it's set. shocking. Shocking. Valentine's right? Day. That I didn't miss go. the booze, right? <laughs> all right. Shocking. Head over to Daisy's for your NA cocktails and for everything else. So delish. And check out their website and socials to learn a whole lot more. While I was there, Sarah, you know, I had to try the Chicago-style hot dog croissant. We talked about it earlier. Um, <laughs> this has been all over the news, so I wanted to get the scoop on the Daisies and Wiener Circle collaboration. I chatted with uh, pastry chef Lee Olmolinsky about how it came about, and I will give you my review tomorrow. Ooh, you're making us wait. I know. Yes. That looks so good. And I have to report that I did not get cursed out by anybody, so that's one positive. Because you were at Daisy's location, that's why, <laughs> exactly. that's why.